Hi guys, happy Holi to one and all and uh, hope this Holi brings lots and lots and lots of success to all of us. Success. In my life, I had some instances of success and how I achieved that. Or I'm going to define success in one way very soon. And after that, I will add my life experiences to that such that you will be convinced to that. First of all, let me define success. Success is getting what you feel you cannot get. I repeat, success is getting what you feel you cannot get. And success has two parts in my way. One is realizing your weaker areas. And second is working on it. Because in my life, some game changers are there. Means uh, as of now, you may see me some achiever kind of success and some kind of thing. But whatever you feel now in the same areas, I failed in my life. Weaker areas. I realized those areas as weaker areas. First instance happened in my life. First encounter with failure or kind of uh, which realized me that like I was weak. First instance happened when I was in 10th standard. In 10th standard, like uh, till that point, always I used to be the talker, school first, school first, school first, every time. It, it could be like uh, from uh, sleep test to unit level test to uh, quarterly or offerly or main, whatever it may be. In all exams of all subjects, I used to be first. First time I failed, or I could get second rank in my 10th. That was the game changer to me. Because of that, I never failed in competitive exams. Okay, fail in the sense it's not disqualified or something uh, like uh, achieving my targets. In my all uh, they say education career, I failed except civil services and 10th class. I never failed anywhere. Because in my 10th class, I realized my weaker areas. In 10th class, uh, normally six subjects will be there. Out of six subjects, I got four subjects first. And in these two subjects, I got so less marks that I missed 10th class school first with only one mark. Four subjects first and two weaker areas. I never worked on them actually. Always I used to work on these four subjects only, mathematics, science, physical science and some kind of stuff. I used to never focus on these particular things. Hindi, no. general, uh, social sciences. Hindi and social sciences, I was able to score only 60 marks out of 100. Then I understood, yes, in what way I was wrong. I'll tell you, because, because of that only I never, never missed any competitive. If I target some competitive exam, I used to get except civil service again at the end. Okay. The thing was, I was so weak in some weaker areas. Definitely weaker areas will be there. For in like, for example, gate exam or ESC exam or any exam, weaker areas will be there for all aspects. But weaker areas should not be weakest in the sense you should be average. I should have maintained average in social studies and uh, Hindi and remaining four subjects anyway, I was super strong. Okay, so point I understood at that point is at least I should have maintained average in these two subjects, remaining four subjects anyway was strong. Then after that, I never failed in any competitive exam because, for example, analog electronics. Yeah, I too was weak, but not weaker than average. Guy. At least average I used to maintain in analog electronics or EMT our kind of mathematics because I was from diploma and machines, power systems, power electrons, I used to be super strong. Okay. That was, uh, I understood at that time. Okay. Two things will be there. First, you have to realize your weaker areas and you have to work on it. And after that, again, in my engineering third year, first semester, I was encountered with my weaker area. That was like, uh, I remember those days. Like I went to NIT Raurkela to present a paper in my third year first semester on electronic security system for distribution transfer money. I went there very proudly because really I worked hard on that particular paper and I went there to present the paper. And like uh, wearing shoes, doing insert, wearing tie, I was not habituated. The moment I entered into NIT Raurkela, they told that okay, these are the things minimum required and uh, some of the friends over there helped me to get all those things and I wore everything. 
I was literally scared. Too much anxiety. And they called me, so called me Shunar Smaharao Kona, you please uh, come and present your paper. I went on the dais. And I stood there and I, I said that, I said only this particular uh, sentence. We students of JNTU College of Engineering, Kakinada, are going to present a paper on electronic security system for distribution transformer. I remember even today also, maybe till my last breath also, I do remember this particular sentence. And then after that, I couldn't utter even a single, single word. Just there, I stood up there like that. And after, like they will allocate some time, after that time, I came down. Then I understood, okay, this is my vacant area. Then I took a note, at least two in front of 50 people, I should be able to deliver. At least something, lecture or something, in front of 50 people, I should be able to speak in English. I decided. Then I went back to Kakinada, means my university place. And I started searching which book would be better because always I used to depend on books only. The first book I bought on this particular, uh, in order to strengthen this Baker area, was uh, Art of Public Speaking by Dale Carnegie. That book I have taken. I studied. And after that, uh, in that book only, I realized that body language also matters. And then I went to the market and I bought the book of Body Language by Ellen Pease. I started working. I used to work hours together in front of mirror, really. And uh, then that was the game changer again. Because because of that only, forget about 50 people, in front of 500 people also, I used to deliver lecture like, just like that. I realized my vacant areas. And I strengthened that. It's a success. Okay. And let me tell you one more instance. At uh, that time, I think, yeah, Lucknow. When I was in Lucknow, one student came to me to discuss some doubts and he was unable to speak in English. He was explaining me in Hindi and I didn't know Hindi by that time. So because I was uh, never, encountered, never encountered that, that was my weaker area. Because everybody used to speak in English and all. Even uh, recent times also I used to get some calls and all. They say that, sir, I don't know English, sir, I don't know you understood your vacant areas, no? You realized your vacant areas, no? Strengthen it. That's it. It's a success. Okay. And anyway, that day, he was unable to express in English. I was unable to understand him. So we, we kept one guy in between as a translator. And that guy explained to this translator and this translator explained to me in English. And in that way, we were able to communicate. Then I understood my vacant area again. Again, that was also a game changer. And immediately, I, uh, the moment uh, when I went back to guest house, I searched in online and I have taken KVR Hindi English speaking course. I paid 10,000 rupees. Okay. And I started learning. Within six months, I was able to understand Hindi. And after three, four months, I was able to speak Hindi. Again, that was a game changer. First of all, you should, because many guys are feeling that, uh, like, sir, I got. Uh, I, I didn't get expected rank. That's fine. You, you try to realize your vacant areas and then try to work on it. That will be sufficient. Okay. Now, like uh, once that was over, again, one more game changer. If you see this particular channel, first video, I think number 17, 2019, and this video, you will understand the difference. Because at that time, I was again anxiety, literally fed up, scared, frustration. Because in front of camera, I never kind of, I never delivered any lecture. I never said anything. So I was literally scared. Again, I took the help of Praveen Wadalkar. His uh, videos I purchased and I have gone through all those. And then we are implementing. The moment you realize your weaker areas, strengthening that is a success. Means, I'll repeat again, success is nothing but getting or achieving whatever you feel you cannot get. For example, if you are feeling, I cannot get top 100 rank in gate, for example, in our field, then get it. Get uh, less than top 100, or uh, top 100 rank, try to get top 100 rank, then you are an achiever. You are successful. Okay. So my, like uh, in my life, many instances were there, but related to present field, present like whatever we are discussing now, with the present field, these are the main game changers who changed the game completely. 
out of nowhere who, who the kid who couldn't speak utter even a single word in front of just 50 people was able to become kind of good faculty at least i think okay and uh, the guy who was literally scared and who took almost 17 days to deliver his first introduction video to the youtube now i am going okay so only two things first thing is realize your baker sections and second thing is work on it if you realize your baker sections half of the battle is done then work on it you are going to the winner okay you need not compare with anyone you can compare with yourself success is getting what you feel you cannot get that is success that is my way of success i can say very all the best guys thank you